So I updated my RetroPie operating system last night because I wanted to be able to have all the latest emulators auto installed onto it so I didn't have to go through the process of having to drag over emulator files and instead I just let Wi-Fi do it all automatically. However, this is what happened after I updated my RetroPie. Sorry, this is on a CRT because I play mostly arcade games with this RetroPie. If you see here, it says Raspbian. Linux 9 RetroPie TTY1 RetroPie Login. Every time I boot this up, I have to log in to my password, which is Pi is the login account. The password is Raspberry. And don't worry if nothing shows up. They do that on purpose. Okay, so Pi, so then once you get to this part of the emulation station, what I would do is I'd hit F4 with your keyboard to quit at any time. All right, now you're in the Linux command prompt. And this is completely new to me. This is my first time messing with Linux, so it's kind of exciting and frustrating at the same time. It depends on how much time you have. What you have to do is, for some reason, whenever you're talking to Linux, you always say sudo. So S-U-D-O, and then you type R-A-S-P-I-Config, okay? And that's the Linux command to take you to configurations for the Raspberry Pi itself. Okay, now once you're in this section here, you're going to go to your boot options. Boot. Desktop. CLI. Choose whether to boot into a desktop. Alright, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to B2, where here it says console auto login text console. Automatically log in as a Pi user. You can highlight it by pressing right on your keyboard. And then hit OK. It should save it. So when I hit finish, would you like to reboot now? Yes. Let's see if it prompts it automatically the second time. So we've got Raspberry Pi, welcome to Raspbian. RetroPi, which is built on top of Raspbian. Raspbian is the operating system, RetroPi is the console, which I guess technically Linux is the operating system. Raspbian is just the Raspberry Pi version of it. So hopefully this will work. Use target long end prompts. And there you go. I didn't have to use my keyboard. It took me straight to there. No more logging in. And that's how you fix it. Thanks for watching.